Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 983 subscribers. Uh, if you recall, and you've seen my videos before, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you get a chance on your screen, you'll probably see a little red uh, subscribe button. If you could click on that and help me achieve that goal of 1,000, uh, I'm within arm's reach of, uh, of meeting that goal. So. Really appreciate um, all the subscribers um, who've contributed thus far um, to making Aspen Now a success. So today um, we're going to talk about how to utilize the heat report map. Um, excuse me, the heat map report um, when it comes to VIPs. So just going to move on over here to some SLA definitions which I created uh, for VIPs and I named them all. VIP, or they start start with VIP. So, I'm not really going to get into the nuts and bolts of what goes into each definition. I do have a very popular video out there on YouTube called "How to Create an SLA," so you can watch those, or excuse me, that video, and see how um, SLAs are created. Now, let's get to the main event, which is our VIP SLA heat map report, which I've created, and just to touch on. Um, why we use a heat map. It's basically to look for um, certain areas that are causing us issues or um, we want to see how things are kind of bunched together and also show a color representation um, that kind of visualizes or makes it apparent to us what's actually happening. Um, also wanted to note that um, there was another video that I had a guest star, uh, Isha Burma, um, do on uh, the Twitter integration, and I did create some reports uh, for something called uh, Speedy Calls, which is a Twitter feed out there, and it relates to finance. So I will be showing that in a future video. So moving on to our VIP SLA heat map report, I'll just show you how I set it up. And there's a couple of things that I did with this, and I'd like to show you also um, just to give you an idea of what you can do with this. So before I get to the actual data, um, let's take a look report name our source type is a table um, also one thing to note is that out of the box you're gonna have um, several heat map reports that are out there um, you can go ahead and use those if you want to to, um, or to to look at to give you an idea of the way to construct these things the table I used was a task SLA table because we are looking at the VIP SLAs which I've created then when we move over to type again this is already um, it's pretty simple. You just go here to heat map, select it, and now we'll get to the configuration. So the way I've configured this was to, in our rows, and we can take a look at the data for a second here, I have the SLA definitions, which I showed you earlier. Now for our first column here, I put down has breached. So this is basically saying, um, has the SLA breached or not? And this is the indicator that's going to tell you whether it was successful or not. So if you have a false has breached, that means the SLA was successful. Um, if it's true that it has breached, that means it was not successful. So there's kind of like that reverse thinking on this. So if you didn't understand that, maybe you want to uh, rewind that segment and um, hear that again. And then the aggregation I used was a count and then the maximum number of groups. You could change this if you want to to system defaults. Um, excuse me. Uh, uh, to something other than system default. That's basically what I use for today's demonstration. Okay, and then also what I wanted to do is show you a couple of the conditions um, right here in the filter that I set up just in case your SLAs aren't named the same. So for example, I put in here SLA definition starts with VIP in order to filter that out. Your definitions um, in your instance might not start with VIP. So you might have to come up with something else, maybe contain something or other, um, some sort of terminology that's in there. Now you have to remember that we're dealing with a task number here because we're dealing with task SLA. So what I did was I set up, um, as you can see here, a task. It's basically a dot walk here where we go down to task. And then I selected number scroll on down here and then I did it starts with INC so that way I'm only pulling in incidents so if you're doing um, this type of reporting for service requests 
or maybe it's a custom application, you'll definitely want to change that task number, or maybe you want to see everything across the board. Um, that's just, you know, it's going to be per personal preference. So these are settings that you can kind of toy with a little bit. Task incident caller VIP. So I, I did a dot walk on this too. Um, this one, you know, went down several levels. So we have here task. Then I went to incident. Then I went to caller. And then I did VIP is true. So VIP right here. So I just wanted to make sure you understood the nuts and bolts of this. Okay, so then let's take a look at the data that came out. Um, there's not too many records I did. I don't know, maybe a handful, 10 or so. Um, but as you can see here, when the number is greater, um, the color is going to be darker. Um, and then one thing, if we look at like the styling of this, and you know what, maybe I'll show you. So now we have what, a black white, um, or maybe black for high scores. And maybe now I can change it to something a little bit different. I think I did dark red at one point. I mean, that kind of worked for me. But dark blue, and there we go. Let's do dark red. Okay, so let's get rid of this. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to run this report, and we'll see the colors change here. So that's one thing you can do. Um, if you don't want the, the labels in here, which I don't know why you wouldn't want them, um, you probably want to see what the numbers are. You can take those out. Maybe click run. Um, I'm going to apply the data labels, but then take out the zeros. You could also do that too. And I think out of the box, that's kind of the way it is that you don't see the zeros. I like the zeros. Um, just makes it a little bit easier for me. And then right here, we're going to see um, our legend. So if you wanted to take, I don't know, like the legend border out for whatever reason, um, you know, some people get picky about the reporting and all that, so um, I'll leave that to you. And then also with the titling, too. So here you're going to see it repeats itself. If this is blank, this chart title. But let's like let's say this is for the CIO. And I know you just type in report or CIO's report. And then what you're going to see is this one change right here. Okay, so that changes there also. Now, what we want to do is we kind of want to, uh, I want to show you a couple of different things that you can do. And I'm not sure what you look for um, in your respective organizations, but I know what I've looked for in the past. Uh, I used to be an ISO 20,000 auditor. Um, I used to do a, be a PM for quality. Um, I ran a couple of different uh, service desks. So I understand um, the way, uh, you know, incident management works. And, um, you know, what, you know, like when you're in the heat of the moment, and I hate to use that term because we're dealing with the heat map report here, um, you know, it seems like sometimes you can devote up to 90% of your time just to VIP stuff because it's so important. So the first one I ran was the SLA definition, and the column I used was has breached. And I already went over the true false. Now, let's say I want to look at business elapsed time. I could run that too. Now, one thing about this is that we have all sorts of times here, right? 12, 14 seconds. Your enterprise might have um, a whole bunch. So again, you probably want to apply more filters. Maybe customer name is. Um, if they say they're getting longer than usual service on some tickets as opposed to other ones. Um, so it's just up to you. But I wanted to point that out, that business elapsed time is one of them. Um, also, going back to... Um, Let's take a look, like has breached, which I always use that one, has breached. And then if we wanted to do like an average here um, and business elapsed percentage, let's see what that looks like. So again, like right here, we see a huge outlier. So for the, the definition called VIP, which is, you know, with my um, start conditions, there's a that's a priority one. Um, we see here that we have three records that um, looks like they have a really high percentage that went way past the SLA. So, you know, what you can do is you can do like a shift click or if you're on a Mac like me, a command click, and then it'll take you over to the records. One thing I did was I put in the averages, so in the calculations down here. So here's that 2823. And again, this is only three records, right? So it's not going to be representative of what's in your instance. But I just want to have this for demo purposes here. 
and I did averages on all these. And, you know, obviously you can see this one that kind of sticks out here. So, you know, you could go ahead and take a look at that, that record. So I just wanted to point that out. Then uh, what a lot of people like to do, um, and let me just go back to count. Uh, we'll hit run. And now what we can do is dot walk if we want to. So we can go to task, let's see your task fields. And then we can do assignment group, which I know is a real popular one. And so we'll see here three different assignment groups. Again, you'll probably have way more. Uh, but right here we'll see, and you'll see how there are variations of the, the color red. So the one in between, the twos, we'll see here, kind of sticks out here and here. And then the darker one, or the highest value, three, is right here. So it was assign, assigned to the group Aspen Now, and this was for the VIP um, definition. So again, I could go ahead and shift click on that or command click and take a look at the different values. Now, if I wanted to, I could also go back to that average and say, you know what? What is the business elapsed percentage on this? So if I wanted to, I could hit run. Say, whoa, we got an outlier here. So it looks like for the service desk, um, they have two records um, for this VIP definition that are way out of whack. So maybe we want to find out what that anomaly is. And maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just an anomaly. We don't know. Um, but that's why we're running this report. And you'll notice that there aren't really any aggregates here. Um, it's not telling you that, like when we use count, it's not totaling them up. So if your goal is to total them up, this isn't really what this report is for. This report is to show you what is running hot, um, you know, in terms of what you're looking for in this report, and then how to spot um, which ones are a little bit hotter than others. So, and then one thing I threw in there because I don't like using assignment group too much. Um, it's just my personal preference. But I wanted to see if there has, if there's maybe a configuration item uh, correlation here uh, or an anomaly that sticks out. So if I look right here, well, it looks like Acrobat had two um, for for uh, the VIP one definition. So again, these are just a couple of things that you can do with the report. I wanted to uh, make sure that uh, we created a little bit of awareness out there with. with this type of reporting because I find that this isn't a, a report that's that's used a lot and I wanted to create that exposure. Um, I'll also add that video um, to the end of this segment showing how you can add these averages here to the actual table itself um, because I find that's a very helpful tool if you want to conduct reporting um, from the actual list itself and just get a quick number based on um, the filtered values that you have here. Okay, my name's Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.